Hey, hey guys. Well, it's been a year. It's June 15th, 2022. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell so that you're notified when I put new videos out. I have basically just a complaint today before. Uh, don't forget that we're going live at 1 o'clock and it's going to last all day so that everybody has a chance to come in and have something to say if they want to or just you know enjoy the camaraderie of what's going on um listen to some music watch videos just discuss the past year guys and what a wonderful little angel that summer was now i do want to make sure and and Tell everybody to say a prayer that they have some kind of closure in the Harmony Montgomery case before we get started here. But now, back to what I'm complaining about. Now, I heard that uh, someone uh, is trying to get that law passed where you have to have both people's permission on a phone call before you're allowed to record it or at least to release it. And I think that's pretty crappy that they waited until the day before, you know, the, the one year date of her missing to come out with that. Seems like they were trying to take the attention away from everybody focusing on Summer. Well, it worked a little bit, but not a lot. So what does Don do? He has to have center stage, folks. And I'm sorry if y'all don't agree with me. So, on the mark of the one-year date of her disappearing, instead of just, you know, praying to God and, and sharing memories with people and anything like that, Don has to come out with a letter and make sure that the media gets a hold of it, that, that YouTube gets a hold of it, the social media, the mainstream media, so that all eyes are back on poor little Don. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not buying it. I mean, come on. Let's read this letter real quick. And forgive me if I'm, you know, I misstate something or whatever. I'm, it says, since you've been gone, I've been uh, completely de de devastated. I looked everywhere for you, my beautiful girl. I thought you two would be the most powerful tool to help find you. And perhaps it still could be but at a price we may not be able to afford. Our family may not survive. I'm sorry, my beautiful girl, that I completely lost my mind with so many thoughts of people hurting you. Um, hang on a second. Of people harming you, sorry. And I know you want to come home and there's nothing I can do. I'm powerless. So I ask God, please look over my precious daughter. We love her so much. We wish God you would, we wish God you will return her to us as well as the boys. I would be so happy to have my family again. Well, first of all, you don't lose your family. The children get displaced. But you don't lose your family. They're always your family. And secondly, it's all your fault, Candace's fault and Grandis's fault, that you don't have your family. Even if you're completely innocent in Summer's disappearance, if you would just either one of the three of you got off your asses, and I apologize for cussing, if you would got off your asses and cleaned that place up, your boys would not have been taken. I don't believe. Now, I may be wrong. There may be other reasons why they were taken from you. But the way it looks from the outside looking in, if you had just got off your butts and cleaned that place up and acted like decent people and stopped all the drinking and the hell raising, going on YouTube, running your mouth, going to your son when you were not supposed to be talking to your son about Summer at all and talking to him about that baby, and then going on YouTube and talking about doing it. 
your family is not together, Don Wells, because of you, because of Candace, because of Grandis, and you are sitting in jail right now because of you. You went out, you would rather have been drinking than looking for your child or worrying about getting your boys back. It just kills me that you can't give this baby one day, one day, where you and Candace are not the center of attention. It's shameful. You're disgusting. This day should honor that baby and all the missing children. Not have all the YouTubers oohing and on over poor old Don. He's suffering so much. Well, I wonder what that baby went through before she disappeared. I wonder what she went through after she disappeared. And hopefully she's still alive and I wonder what she's still going through. And I tell you what, this letter don't mean diddly to me. If I was writing a letter to my child and her missing, or if I was writing a letter to God while my child was missing, this is not anything close to what I would write. This is just some words put on a piece of paper to make you look good. Or you think it makes you look good. You can't even decide who you're talking to. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. My bitch session is over. I'm just saying, don't fall for it. Don't don't throw this letter up and, and make a big deal out of it. He's a piece of crap. And I'll, if, if he was that worried about his baby or looked everywhere for his baby, he wouldn't have been drinking the way he was. He wouldn't have been on YouTube as much as he was. They wouldn't have been fighting and carrying on the way they were. He'd have been worrying about his daughter from the minute she got gone. No, the first minute he found out she was gone, all he could worry about was loading his tools up. And from then on out, it was getting on YouTube, and it was drinking, and it was doing drugs, and it was running to Knoxville and buying drugs, and giving them away, supposedly, allegedly. Which I think all it was, was he wanted the spotlight again. And now, one year later, he's still getting it by releasing this stupid letter, and everybody's falling for it. Don't fall for it. Pray for the kids. Pray for Summer. Pray for Harmony. Pray for your family. Pray to God that your family becomes a stronger unit. Even if you think you have the, the best family, the strongest family, there's always room for improvement. Hug your kids. Tell them you love them. Join us at 1 o'clock, guys. And remember, we are not going to be mourning summer today. We are honoring summer. And that's how my life is going to be going. We're going to be playing music. We're going to be telling stories. We're going to be talking about little girls and what they do when they're five. And we're, we're just going to act like if summer was sitting right here with us. And there wouldn't be no sad boo-hoo and crap if she was sitting right here. So we're honoring her. We're not mourning her. Even if, even if the worst comes to be true, we know that she's sitting up there with God and she's still watching. And so is God. Keep that in mind, guys. Watch how you act. Until one o'clock, guys. I'll see you then.